I was getting pretty worried for a minute. I remember there being this team called the Padres based in San Diego, I think it was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure San Diego, California, not San Diego, Texas. They were pretty good and got a lot of attention, more so than even the Dodgers, but they went off the grid for a bit. I mean, there was just nothing about them. I felt like Obi-Wan Kenobi looking for Camino out here through an incomplete archive of baseball teams, and the Padres were just nowhere to be found. Well, good thing they're back. As most of you probably know, the Padres owner Peter Seidler passed away this offseason, and it's sad. He was a great man who not only just loved the Padres and genuinely wanted to win for the fans in the city, but he also genuinely was someone who wanted to leave an impact and help others, help the less fortunate. Just a truly good man to leave us, and the overall mood around the Padres hasn't been great for a bit now. The hype last year was unreal, but 2023 ended up just being a crappy time overall. Juan Soto has since been traded just a year and a half after becoming a Padre, and and while the Dodgers did all they did, the Padres had a much lighter offseason, really only getting smaller scale pieces, good pieces, like they really worked on building their bullpen and got some good arms. But the Padres have also just become irrelevant right now. It doesn't matter at the end of the day because all that matters is what you do on the field, but there wasn't too much to necessarily get excited about with this team. That is until now. But before I get any further, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Over 65% of my watch time is from people who aren't subscribed. A lot of viewers just don't realize they aren't, so if you enjoy the video, hit that button along with the bell for post notifications. Thank you. The Yankees currently find themselves in a dilemma. Wait, the Yankees? Weren't you just talking about the Padres? Yes, the two are now related. Garrett Cole, the 2023 Cy Young Award winner and arguably the best pitcher in all of baseball, well, yeah, he isn't in the best state right now. His elbow isn't, at least. And after getting an MRI and multiple doctors' opinions on an elbow that's having a hard time recovering between spring training starts, Cole will now be missing at least the first month or two of the season. Everything seems very up in the air right now, and it doesn't seem good at all. There's definitely more to it that the public doesn't know, and it's all kind of just lining up with what I said in my video about it. Whether Cole has to get Tommy John or not, his elbow still hurts. It doesn't just suddenly stop. There's clearly a problem, and he'll likely have to at least get some type of surgery eventually. So with that terrible news, it was pretty quickly reported that the Yankees reached back out to the White Sox to ask about Dylan Cease, their ace, and someone who's been rumored as a trade piece all offseason long. The only issue is when Brian Cashman, the Yankees general manager, called the White Sox, the Padres general manager, AJ Preller, picked up the phone. Dylan Cease is now a San Diego Padre, seemingly out of nowhere. The Padres are adding Cease to their rotation while the White Sox get four prospects, one which is ranked 64th on the top 100 list. And overall, right away, it seems like an even trade, at least for now. It's one of those trades where it really honestly could swing either way, you just don't know, but it seems fair for both sides. It's a good group of young players picked up for Chicago, but it's also not like it's an alarmingly crazy group of young talent the Padres are giving up. The Padres will also have Cease for two years. And what I like most about the trade is that it's basically a reminder that the Padres still matter. They're still in this thing. This doesn't put them over the top in terms of being better than the Dodgers, unless they kidnapped Juan Soto to bring him back and then traded for Mike Trout after signing Blake Snell. They're not going to be favorites against LA, and that's okay. And even then, I don't think they would, but they don't need to be. Again, it just matters what happens on the field, and the Padres really do look to have a good, solid team. I would say they have a sneaky good team, but I don't even think it's that. I think what they are is a pretty good roster, clearly, that's just overshadowed by how much star power the Dodgers have, which is just how it is for anyone, it's not just San Diego. This isn't quite Juan Soto and Xander Bogart's level of hype, but it's still a pretty big deal. And White Sox general manager Chris Getz claimed that the interest in offers for Cease started ramping up after his last outing against the Cincinnati Reds, which is just weird to say. I don't know if you wanted to make it seem like that spring training outing in particular was the sole reason teams started getting serious, or that, that was just the time frame, but the Yankees getting involved obviously had to do with Cole, and I think that helped up the Padres' offer for the White Sox to then accept their deal. I don't know if it had much to do with some random spring training outing. Anyway, Cease is a really good pitcher, although I didn't realize how high his ERA was last year. It was over four and a half, damn. Looking at it a little more closely, he had two really good months and a decent April and everything else sucked. But what's obvious about Cease is the potential he has to be great. Like, he's someone I could totally see come out and be a Cy Young contender this year. I mean, you only have to go back two years to see where Cease finished second in the race behind Justin Verlander. And in the year before that, 2021, Cease had the highest strikeout rate in the American League. So the stuff is there, but the location tends to be an issue. He's been at the top of baseball and walks pretty much his entire time in the big leagues, and he also led all of baseball last year with 14 wild pitches. Imagine a broken, torn up, beat up Batmobile. It's got its flaws and things that very clearly need to be fixed, but if it all gets put together, you might have the best, most valuable and cool car in the world. That's Dylan Cease, but as a pitcher. Rough around the edges with his flaws, but if he hones everything, he can be a Cy Young pitcher, no doubt. So that's who the Padres are getting. They're adding a solid 
starter to an already solid rotation with a lot of depth. Again, not necessarily groundbreaking stuff, and it may not scream this sort of thing. But what this shows is that the Padres still have plans to win and take down the Dodgers. They're serious, and they're back, at least in that kind of a sense. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.